Hi guys, this is going to be a short video. I want to show you that you can add in a very easy way JavaScript simulations to your Moodle course. In previous videos, I showed you how you could add Java applications, either virtual laboratories or remote laboratories, for example, in your Moodle courses. For doing that, you use our plugin called EJS app in order to upload the Java applications to your Moodle server. These applications are built with EJS, which stands for Easy Java Simulations. However, this program has now evolved and it is now called EJSS, which stands for Easy Java and JavaScript Simulations. EJSS is a um, authoring tool. It is free and open source and it allows you creating in a very easy way simulations and user interfaces for remote laboratories. Actually, here in Unilabs, this is our university network of interactive labs, we use that program for creating both virtual and remote laboratories. So what I'm going to do is to scroll down through the list of courses we have in Unilabs and I'm going to enter the testing staff course I click on turn editing on and I want to upload a new JavaScript application. So as you can see, I already have several JavaScript applications here, but I want to show you how you can how you can add a new one. So I click on the add an activity or resource, then I choose the EJS app module. This is the plugin we have created. Click on the add button and then here in the form for adding a new Moodle activity. I write the name of the activity. This is a JavaScript example. And then I need to upload here the file with my application, with my virtual laboratory or my simulation or my remote laboratory. This can be either a jar file if you have a Java application or a zip file if you have a JavaScript application, remember they have to uh, be based on EJSS. So you can do that, uh, adding the file here, um, you can do it in two different ways, either by dragging and dropping the file from your local computer, from your local drive, or clicking on the choose file button and then using the open source physics repository plugin. This is a plugin we have developed to connect to the open source physics digital library, which hosts more than 400 simulations. I think there are about 500 uh, simulations there. And in the open source physics digital library, you can find both uh, Java applications and JavaScript applications. So let me search for a simulation about waves, for example. I like this one very much, not that one, this one, EJS model waves. So I'm going to click on it. This is a JavaScript simulation. You can um, distinguish Java simulations from JavaScript simulations by the name. EJS are Java simulations and EJSS are JavaScript simulations. So I click in this one and you can see some information here. For example, the last time this simulation was modified in the digital library and also the authors. In this case, they are Wolfgang Christian and Francisco Skembre, who actually is the author of Easy Java and JavaScript simulations, this authoring tool I have been talking about. So we just click on select the file and we already have the simulation loaded there. I click on save and display. And that's all you need to do to have your very nice simulation in your Moodle course. So now I can run this simulation and see how the two waves are uh, superposing into just one. I can pause the simulation and change parameters here and change the maximum X value for one of the the waves and I can show both waves uh, in a separate way 
or modify the second wave, for example, and then start again and see the new result. So that's all. I hope you liked uh, what I have shown you. Thank you very much for your attention.